Now that we have finished off our sketch, we would probably want to extrude this or give it some depth or thickness to create our 3D design. The first thing I'll want to do when extruding any sketches is jumping into a more 3D view. So right now we're just an orthogonal view looking down on our top view. So to add a depth, I'm going to first want to rotate my view slightly just to be in a more 3D view. From here it's a very simple process. All I need to do is tap to select any closed sketch. And again, any closed sketch once tapped will come in in this nice highlighted blue color. And what I can do from that is just tap again and drag to add a depth or a thickness. And notice I can go in either direction here. And it'll give a positive or a negative value depending on the direction. I can, of course, become more exact and tap directly on the dimension and say I want this to be exactly 20 centimeters. And I'll just undo this. And another important thing to note here is that you have the ability to extrude a single closed sketch or multiple closed sketches at the same time. So I could select all three of my circles and do the same. And as I can see here, this would create three different bodies, and we'll learn more about bodies and groups later on. But one important thing to note is that if I extrude all objects together, this will form one group or body. But if I extrude them separately, it's going to create multiple unique bodies or groups. So in this case, for example, I have my three circles that I actually want to be extruded a little bit higher than the rest of my base. So what I could do in this case is maybe start by extruding my base or the circles, either way. In this case, I'm actually going to grab and extrude my three circles first, and then extrude my base. So I'll select all three circles and extrude, and I'm going to put in a actual value here of, let's say, 20 centimeters. And now I can see that I've just added a depth, and I've just created my very first 3D design. Of course, I also want the base to have some thickness, so I can select the base, and again, just with my pencil, tap and drag in whichever direction it may be, in this case, again, a positive value, and I will define the exact value to be 12 centimeters. Now we can see very quickly and easily, we've created a fairly complex shape here, and we have the base for my final bracket component. In the next few lessons, we're going to add to this design even further to create our completed bracket design.